will be out for the next minute. The Tawarton Trophy, the Mohawk Indian name for the game of lacrosse, given to the game's top player. Seabald, a machine. Great fortitude, competitiveness. He just goes. All business, very professional attitude. Princeton, I need something to happen right now. Mackenzie hangs on to its man up time. Six on five across McBride. For angle key. Kovler. Watch 17 and white. Top right of your screen. Got that big shot. Here he is. Mackenzie steps into the shot. And look at the clean save by Myers. Tracked it on the high eye effort from Mackenzie. Now Romero. First effective ride. First clean save by Myers. First time he was able to catch the ball. Princeton now shooting one of the first 19 shots. A zillion of them have missed the net. Wow. Not going to do it. Romero makes the clear official. Here's Pinnell, and Cornell will set it up. No goals so far in the second half. Finn with it. Pushed off a play by Lesko. Second midfield line out there for Jeff Tambroni's Big Red. Calvert's got one of the five scored by Cornell so far. Cunningham watches him. Cornell managing the details of a college lacrosse game. The little plays. Thompson fires behind for Pinnell in front. Hurley shut down Fiorino. What a save on Ryan Hurley. Sparkling stop by the freshman netminder. Maybe that will jumpstart Princeton a bit. Trouble though, on the clear, picked off. Here comes Hurley, charging through. Will not pull the trigger. Wisely saw big number nine, charging at him. Chad Weedmeyer. And a push call against the freshman. He is one of the most intense competitors, Quint, number nine in white. We saw him yesterday aggressively taking teammates out on drills. <laughs> he was swinging the lumber. And nasty. Bill Tierney says it, it, it's a light switch. Nicest kid off the field, put the helmet on, you get that long pole in your hand, and next thing you know, boom. Psychotic defenseman on a Friday practice just laying guys out. Which is like a walk to I love it. I love football. it. You're not supposed to really do that that much, but Reedmeyer has one speed. It's full. In the Landon School down in Potomac, Maryland, near Washington. Pies are good play. Finn on the hold, play on Princeton. Come on, get it out! Coverage of the NCAA softball regionals continue on ESPNU tonight. Three games come your way. First and sixth Eastern, LSU against Arizona State. Then at 8 o'clock, Cal State Fullerton against San Diego State. 10 30 Eastern, game five for the Tempe region. The NCAA softball regionals presented on ESPNU by Capital One tonight. Moni plays back for Chris McBride. Covered by a short stick defensive midfielder. It's Austin Boykin on the coverage there. Here's that matchup from the X position. Chris McBride feeding. Tommy Davis can't pull the trigger. What a slide, the collapse of the Cornell defense, just tying up the hands of the Princeton shooters. They can't get free. Who can draw the double team? Who can run by their man? Moaning feeds out for McBride. Shot was blocked. Penalty flag flies, though. 37 plus minutes. Princeton has been shut out. Only goal. Jack McBride. I was back in the first quarter with a minute 52 to go to make it 2 1. Cornell. Big Red has never trailed in this game. Look at the Cornell defenders in red. 
collapse and really pack it in. There's Moyer, closes the space on Davis, and you get a near man adjacent double team. You've got to react quickly. Cornell's a defense that's known to fake slide. And that is, I'm going to take a step towards you, Dave, like I'm going to double you, and then back off and stay on my man. Creates hesitation. Princeton whiffing so far on the man up tries. McKenzie three. Kofler really being stretched to on the far side of the field. He's being taken out of the equation. In the corner now. He'll rotate up. Top of your screen. Romero on him. Man up time continues. Davis trying to get free. Pulls the trigger. Scores. Tommy Davis. Right hand of your screen being set off by Rocco Romero. So Davis carries a bit and curls. Catches Princeton's defense napping a bit. No one expects you to dodge to the net when you're man down. Fiorito made a stop. Davis the spark on O. Band finally has a reason to play on the Princeton side. I love their circa 1930 band uniforms. The hats are my favorite part. Holy call. Goes against Princeton. Lang and Cornell re-trigger here under four minutes left. And the third. Some of that one goal sort of changes things a bit. Gurkak handles briefly. And now it's early. Cornell will substitute midfielders. They've been able to keep Seabold and Glenn relatively fresh. Impressed with the work of 48 and Red Roy Lang on tape and in person. 6'3", 185, Mill Valley, California. Just another example of an athlete at the Division I level from a non-traditional area. Just outside San Francisco, that St. Ignatius program, very popular with lacrosse, has sent several players to the D1 level. Glenn, great move in traffic, lost a stick. Anyone's ball. Everyone's slashing and whacking there, and cutting half comes free for Princeton. I mean, the scrums, the battles, Quint, you play the sport all your life. When it's a 50-50 ball, anything goes, right? Playoff game, ground ball, it's down there. You lose your stick, you may lose your head. Kovler, he's a lefty. And you can see the quick slide for Cornell's defense. How would not let him get loose and unleash that left-handed laser. Cornell, good. Game plan defensively on him. Scalardi, little face dodge move, trying to get free. McBride, the pick from Davis. Scalardi. Now it's McKenzie. The big guy swim move, left the ball behind. And it was ball. We're out there by Durkak. Good play. Pierce Durkak, the junior from Virginia. Long stick defense and mini play at the pole. So important. There's a turnover, though. Feely lost the handle briefly, regains, and flicks up for grabs. Romero gets laid out. What a hit. Oh my goodness, Weedmeyer just crushing Rocco Romero and sending him in the next week. Weedmeyer, like a free safety in football, steps up the field on the far sideline. And Romero staring at the ball. Right side of your screen, you will see number nine in white. Step up field, boom, drop his shoulder. Love the clean hit. Not a cross check to the head, didn't use his hands. Dropped his shoulder. That's the right way to hit a man. You show respect for the game, you show respect for your opponent when you hit a guy the right way. And Romero's able to walk away as his fans give him a standing ovation. We see clearly now why Chad Weedmeyer is only the third freshman in Princeton history, along with Scott, Patrick Lupo, and B.J. Prager, to be named first team all Ivy League. All season long, we saw a lot of high illegal hits. Love what I just saw from Weedmeyer. That was something. 
Romero's protected. You got your mouthpiece in. It's going to absorb some of that concussion type stuff. Your chin didn't get hit, so you're not going to get a concussion from the chin. You got your shoulder pads, four point chin strap. You needed all four points there. <laughs> he could have used six. <laughs> no shots already for Cornell in this corner. Uh, change that in the final minute. Cornell double team. Weedmeyer just tracking him down. You said it earlier, Quint, like a free safety, and then he shoves him from behind, causing a turnover. Chad Weedmeyer, something to watch. Riley along the sideline, tiptoes, stays in bounds. That's Davis. Stop and go. Looking to get free. Final 45 ticks, fading third quarter clock here. Where's Josh Lesko been today for Princeton? One goal makes this very interesting. And there it is, Chris McBride. Soaring and scoring. There they are, that Princeton pep band. Started with defense and Weedmeyer making a big hit and then a turnover. McBride, knowing that time is not on his side, goes to the rack hard. What an interesting concept. Princeton, when they dodge hard, they can run by their man. All the momentum has shifted. Cornell looking to get out of this quarter. They're on the ropes. Lynn and Barnes have battled all day long. Procedure call. Goes against Glenn. Barnes re-triggers quickly. He can charge in and shoot if he wants. Final 15 seconds of the quarter. Brand new game. Thanks to Davis and Chris McBride. This is cousin Jack. Spin move, trying to get free goals low to high. Set it wide. Backed up by Chris McBride. With only four seconds remaining in the third. Late horn, late sub. Kobla re-triggers. Four seconds left. That's enough time to get up a shot from there. We'll see if he can manage it. They'll feed the crease. Cornell's got to take arms and stick. Check hard. Here he goes. Kobla toward the goal. He shoots. He scores! No, waved off. Waved off too late. After the horn, zeros on the clock. The ball's got to cross the goal line before you see the zeros cleanly across. No goal, and there is no replay in college lacrosse. Didn't think four seconds was enough time for him to carry in himself. Felt he had to feed the crease. You make the call at home with the clock. Half over, oh, no great. goal. Great call. Officials have that one just right. Great complete. Fourth quarter yet to come. Some say David Abernathy's extraordinary confidence began at birth, when he congratulated the doctor on a perfect delivery. He later approached the much older Carrie Picor and simply said, call me. And she did. At 24, he performed open heart surgery in a crowded opera house with a ballpoint pen. But when it comes to car buying, he's as nervous as anyone. So at 28, David Abernathy used cars.com to regain his confidence to get the perfect car at the perfect price. Well, I married my dream girl, I married my dream girl, but she didn't tell me her credit was bad. So now instead of living in a pleasant suburb, we're living in the basement at her mom and dad's. No, we can't get a loan for a respectable home just because my girl defaulted on some old credit card. If we'd gone to freecreditreport.com, I'd be a happy bachelor with a dog and a yard. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage.
Commitment creates champions. Dedication, perseverance, and teamwork are hallmarks of those who achieve. The NCAA is proud to say thank you to our corporate champions and partners who recognize the important role of athletics and education. By supporting them, you help us create America's champions for tomorrow. It's the NCAA lacrosse quarterfinal presented on ESPNU by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We are at Hofstra, 5-3 game. He's going to have great pictures of some amazing lacrosse and the comeback point in that third quarter by Princeton. It looked like they were really in trouble. Down 5-1, nothing going at off them in the third until Davis and McBride get it going. And Weedmeyer, big hit, emotion comes to the table. McBride scores 5-3 with 28 to go. And then with four seconds, great call by the officials. Kovler streaking in. Clock goes three zeros before the ball crosses that goal line. Myers is right. I didn't think that Kovler had the time to. Yeah, he can get from the sideline to the goal, but not when you're being covered. Princeton, Princeton has struggled at the face-off X with John Glenn today. Glenn and Barnes battle again. Paul Barnes has the win. Charge again. In front of McBride. What a stop! I mean, a great save by Myers. Point blank range shuts the door on Chris McBride. Five saves. The Princeton bench was celebrating what they thought was the fourth goal. They still can't believe what they just witnessed. Romero. Think about the way a goal there would have charged Princeton for the entire remaining 15 minutes. Big moments. When leading after three, Cornell pretty much unbeatable. Wow. Number 37, Romero works around the perimeter of the box here. Cornell. Minute in, fourth quarter. Berth to the national semis on the line next week. Bodies everywhere in front, and flags do fly behind the play. Romero is decked by Cunningham. Penalty coming here on Princeton. Slow whistle flag on the ground. So it's like a delay penalty in hockey. And as soon as it's out of the box, touched it all. Errant from Cornell, and Princeton will start the penalty here. Down a man, but Cornell is wise to hang on to as long as possible. Pinnell watched by Riley. Going, going, going. Rob Pinnell, here comes a slide in the double team. Hangs on to it somehow. Wow, keep away. Amazing. Cornell has not scored in the second half here. Completely shut down. Glenn hammered as he releases a shot by Riley. And Lesko bounces him a little bit with his chest afterwards. A lot of chirping going on between these two Ivy League rivals. And Hans Wittelsberger is there to clamp down on some of that chirping to make sure that it doesn't fester itself in the wrong way. Sportsmanship, gentlemen. Interference technical 32nd call goes against Princeton here. So Cornell, six on five. Chris Finn serves the penalty. I'll make that Riley, pardon me. Finn handles here. In front, Finn on the quick stick. A good save, Fiorito backed up by Glenn. Now it's Hurley. Seaball winds, a big shot, sent it just off target. That crank near 100 miles an hour. Coming here from Short Stadium, Hofstra campus, national quarterfinal. Great to have you with us here for the national quarterfinals. The winner will go off to the semis, Foxborough and championship weekend. Dave Ryan Quinn Kesnick, former Johns Hopkins star goalie, our entire crew. A little rain rolling in here along with some mist and dark clouds on Long Island.
Pass it for Hurley, and a piece of it. Fiorito deflects it wide. His left, who's closest to it? Cornell and Romero barely. It was close in this 5-3 game. Teams back to even strength. Romero.